part 6, uh, 2015. Ang ating kong activity uh, today, this morning, uh, is that yung Laguna, LGU, and guys in San Pablo joint committee for TV control program implementation. Maybe uh, for the LDUs, uh, ikatanong kayo, ikatanong kayo bakit uh, meron ka nitong uh, gathering uh, this morning. And the title of the activity is the Joint uh, LDU Diocese uh, Joint Meeting for the TV Program. No? Uh, as we go along with the, with the program, uh, ipapaliwanan po namin ni Father Dan, si Father Dan uh, Cancino, Siya po ang Executive Secretary ng Catholic Bishop Conference of the Philippines, Episcopal Commission on Healthcare. Siya po ay nasa likod. Father, please. Siya po. Okay. Father Dan is also a medical doctor. Okay. And then, uh, ako po from IMPACT, si Mario Articona, I belong to Component 1. Uh, as Community Mobilization Specialist. For the RHUP uh, people, pabi, uh, magkakakilala na kami ng marami sa kanila. And then, uh, also to acknowledge the presence of our no, uh, Provincial Medical Entity Coordinator, Dr. Dale. Dr. Dale Atayan, from the province. Dr. Provincial Medical Entity Coordinator. So, um, so, for this morning, for, uh, Kalating araw lang naman po tayo magkakaroon ng pagkukulong. No? Hindi naman ito kinakaya na aabuti ng maghapon. At siguro kung ano man yung mga unfinished business this morning, ay mapag-uusapan natin yan as we proceed with the, with the, with the partnership uh, as, uh, we, as we propose. No? So ang agenda natin for, for today, ito po, no? Uh, one is to discuss the objectives and mechanics of the partnership between the LTUs and the Diocese of San Pablo for local TV program implementation, establish the coordination and referral mechanism, finalize the capability building plan for both LTUs and the Diocese of San Pablo community health care program. So, uh, with, the, with the little time that we have this morning, tignan natin kung paano natin ma masasatisfy ito ang ating agenda. Okay. But before we proceed, uh, gusto ko lang po sana ano, uh, ma, ma request na tumayo yung yung from the art shoe, from the, from the local government units. Pakita yun lang po yung nanggaling sa local government units. Okay. Uh, from the art shoes. And then, yung from the Diocese of San Pablo. Pakitayo po yun. Tayo po. So, sila po yung uh, mga Paris uh, workers, Paris uh, coordinators and volunteers from the, di from the different parishes in the Diocese of San Pablo. Ano po? So, ang well, as, as presented in the agenda, uh, ang pag-uusapan po natin is yung mekanismo ng partnership ng, between the Diocese of San Pablo and the uh, local government unit, meaning the rural health units, the provincial health office. Uh, to proceed with that, gusto ko pong uh, uh, ipaliwanag muna sa inyo Ano ba yung, well, kami sa IMPACT, sa Innovation and Multisectoral Partnership to Control Tuberculosis, gusto ko sana, gusto ko, bigyan nyo ako ng pagkakataon na ipaliwanag sa inyo ano ba itong project namin at ano yung kinalaman nitong joint meeting nito doon sa project na ini-implementa ng, uh, ng IMPACT and the CPCP. Ano po, para magkaroon tayo ng ano, para perspective uh, for this meeting. For, for some, probably for the RHQ, you have heard already what the impact is. Ano. But for the Diocese of San Pablo, hindi ito namin nabigyan during the first day. Ano. So, sino ba itong impact? 
impact mo. Yung nasa likod na kasama ko si Carlo, hindi ko alam kung anong impact siya. Okay. Impact. Si Mesenyas. So, si Carlo po ang area coordinator ng province of Laguna. Okay. Aside, uh, kasama rin niya yung Quezon, Quezon province. Uh, okay. Yeah. Impact. Ang impact po is an acronym of a project. Innovation and multi-structural partnership to achieve control of tuberculosis. So, nag-upisa ko itong impact noong October 1, 2012 at matatapos po ito ng September 30, 2017. Ang area po namin in October ay 43 high TB burden provinces and and cities. Uh, it's uh, funded by the United States Agency for International Development and managed by the Philippine Business for Social Problems. Ito? Okay. Ang um, yung 43 high TV burden provinces, ito po sila. No? For Luzon, mapansin po ninyo, andito yung province of Laguna. Number 8 sa Sanstahan. And then, well, uh, in effect, the whole of Calabar Zone ay kasama po doon sa priority sites. Cavite, Rizal, Laguna, Quezon, and, and Batangas. And also, for South Luzon, yung Masbate and Plumblot. The rest are in Northern Luzon. For NCI, we have 11 cities, big cities, in uh, the National Capital Region in the Visayas, Lima, Pongkubisa, and in Mindanao, there are 13 provinces and cities. Okay. So for Luzon, uh, Cavite, Laguna, Rizal, Batangas, and Quezon, Masbate, and Romblo, uh, in terms of uh, our priority for, for this kind of engagement uh, this year, kami po sa CPCP, ang Laguna, Cavite, and Quezon, for Calaparson ang aming uh, tinututukan for this year and for this is our year three of the five-year project and then by year four we will go to Batangas and Rizal. Simultaneously this year three, ginagawa na rin po namin yung activities in Masbate and Rondon. We have completed our uh, training of trainers for the Caritas Masbate and uh, for Romblon, we have started our blog uh, work. Uh, so for Laguna, uh natin itong year 3, and then hopefully by year 5, we'll have a strong partnership uh, for TV program. Impact sa uh, goals and objectives, ang sinasabi po ng, ng, ng project's goal is to reduce TV prevalence by 30%, in all participating sites by 2017 from 2010 baseline. Okay? And then also to achieve 90% TB detection rate for all forms of TB and 90% cure rate for new smear positive. Okay. So itong goals na ito, itong goal na ito at the targets are the targets of the national government. No, hindi naman kami nag-i-impose ng sariling target. Because impact, uh, as a technical assistance provider, support na lang po ito sa Department of Health Program. You know? uh, ang aming ipinoprovide ay technical assistance in the form of training, uh, consulting, mentoring, and coaching. Hindi kami nagpo-provide na mga hard, uh, hard way. No? Hindi kami nagbibigay ng microscope, hindi kami nagbibigay ng equipment. But uh, also in PBSP, we have this global fund project for tuberculosis. Sila yung uh, nagbibigay ng mga equipment. No? Even the gene expert 
uh, ang sige ko yung San Cruz Pine Hospital, yung uh, treatment center, ay nabigyan na ng gene expert for drug resistant TB. To support the code, ang objectives po ng impact, we have three major objectives. One is strengthen demand for TB services through adoption of healthy behaviors within families. Improve supply of TB services, including the availability and quality of public sector services and selective expansion of private sector providers. No. And remove policy and system barriers to support supply and demand for TB services. Sabi po kasi natin, uh, for, a, for a TV program to become successful, the three elements must be present and should work hand in hand. One is the demand, which is yung clients natin. The clients, the TV patient, the TV symptomatics, dapat daw yung mga clients na yan are submitting themselves for either consultation or for treatment. Okay. So, kinakailangan strengthen yung demand. On the other, on one hand, dapat yung supply natin ay maayos. Meaning, when we, when we talk of supply, ito yung, uh, it, this refers to the dodge facilities. Uh -huh. Dapat daw ang dodge facilities natin ay merong laboratory, may microscope, merong trained microscopist to perform the SSM at meron din mga trained health workers from BHW to midwives, nurses, and doctors to ensure compliance uh, of the program to Dutch. Okay. So supply and demand dapat nag, uh, nagpamatch sila. Kasi kung mataas ang demand, meaning clients are, uh, are, are open or are willing to go to consult for their uh, for, for diagnosis or for treatment, then the, the supply side must be ready to accommodate them. Okay. And also, the, the third one, yung policy uh, support. Sabi natin, ang health program, when uh, during the, uh, when the local government code was enacted in 1991, yung health uh, become, became a default function no? to the local government unit. So, dapat yung ating mga local government uh, officials, executives, the legislative body, ay dapat merong support uh, sa programa. Okay? This could be manifested through policies, approval of municipal ordinance with budget allocation. So, yun po yung uh, objectives ng impact to support the goals and targets of the national government. To realize those objectives, we have these five major components. One is increasing the demand and utilization of quality TB control services and multi-drug resistant XDR TB management and treatment, scaling, the delivery, scaling up the delivery of quality dot services, ensuring timely delivery appropriate MTR services, Strengthening the capacity of national, regional, and local government offices in providing TA to local TV staff and improving the adoption and compliance to national TV policy. These five components, uh, uh, we have this result framework uh, uh, to support uh, the five components of the program. Your component one, Meaning demand and use of quality TB dot services for basic and drug resistant uh, TB dot services increase. Under subcomponent one, increasing demand for TB services, behavioral change communication intervention for vulnerable groups, mobilize and strengthen communities, public and private providers into a service delivery network, and then building advocacy capacity of national regional. LGUs and local managers for the TV program. So under your component one po, uh, this is where I belong. No? Improving the behavior of the clients and the utilization of those services. 
Kung bakit tayo ang dito ngayon, under some component number two, mobilizing and strengthening communities, public and private providers, into a service delivery network of uh, IEC providers. Ang gusto kong mangyari ng programa under component one, to help the program increase the demand and utilization of services, is to engage and strengthen community participation. Okay? Strengthen community participation. And in this case, ang tinitingnan po natin ay ang Diocese of San Pablo. Why Diocese of, why Diocese of San Pablo? Because we believe that uh, the Diocese of San Pablo has a structure uh, down to the parish level and even up to the barangay level na meron silang regular na ginagawa gawa is, uh, for the for the parish. No? And with this, uh, engaging them to participate in the TV control program, walang masyadong magiging drastic na change in their, in their regular activity, but we will just be mainstreaming TV in their regular uh, church work to help the RHU in implementing the TV program. So, and uh, itong gawain na ito uh, is also in support of the Philippine Plan of Action to Control Tuberculosis. The RHU is very much aware of the bill pass. And uh, under, under strategy number four, in promoting users' behavior, ang, is, ang dalawa po sa mga indicators doon, una is number of LDUs with barangay level or community-based organizations participating that are linked with those facil facilities and participating in TV program. Uh, and in addition to that, ang sinasabi pa ng PILPAC indicator is at least 10% of the total cases notified by the RSU, the RSU must come from the community-based organization. Okay? And in our case, the community-based organizations that we are referring to will be the parishes. Okay? under the Diocese of San Pablo. So, other components, hindi na natin ito pag-uusapan kasi baka maubos yung hanggang tanghali. Okay. So, I'm just focusing my, my, my discussion on component one, which is uh, related to community participation or increasing uh, community participation uh, for demand and utilization of uh, those services. <laughs> so to continue, uh, in, the, in the implementation of the project in PAC, we have, this is a project consortium. You know? uh, we have the BBSP, uh, where we belong. Kami po yung project manager of the impact project uh, as pa and funded by the United States Agency for uh, International Development. And we have key players here, the Primex, the PTSI, uh, the RHUs are very much aware of this, the Philippine Tuberculosis Society. In English po namin sila as a consortium partner, and they are taking care of the private hospitals. No? Bringing in the private hospitals to participate in the Dutch program. Okay? So developing the capability of the private hospital either to become a Dutch providing unit or Dutch repairing unit. In San Pablo, sabi ko nga, meron dito, dalawa. Isang God's provider at saka isang God's repairing hospital. Okay. Then the FHI 360, ito naman po yung sila tumutulong sa pag-aayos sa laboratory network. Ano po? Ang Primex is also a major partner. Then we have the resource group, marami yan. The Good NGO. The PILTA. You are aware of this field cut, no? The Philippine Coalition Against uh, Tuberculosis. Yung structure namin, we have a very lean staffing. Uh, 
parang average of 2 to 3 people per component. Kami po sa component 1, dadalawa na lang kami. Okay. So, nag-resign yung team leader po. Uh, so, we, we are trying to, 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 to accommodate all the requests of our indigenous people for technical assistance. Okay. Hindi ko na masyado ito di-discuss kasi hindi na rin naman ito mababasa. Masyado ang madilig. Okay? So, basta yung basta yung component one dito ako. Okay. And, uh, okay. uh, community mobilization partners, we have here the, the PANSU, Philippine Engine Support Program and the Federation for the Development of the Urban Pool Plan International and the other NGOs. We have also engagement with the Foundation for the Development of the Urban Pool to attend to the TV concerns of the, no, the Urban Pool Associations in Quezon City and Paloma. Marami po sila doon. And they are considered to be one of the world that are Okay. So yun po yung impact. Na under our mandate, uh, to be implemented by component one is uh, improving demand and utilization of those services. One of our strategies is to strengthen community participation. Ano po? As partner of the rural health units in the implementation of TB program. And in our case here in, in Laguna, uh, we have partnered with the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines Episcopal Commission on Healthcare to facilitate the engagement of the different dioceses nationwide in impact project sites as partner of the RHU, uh, uh, the local government to this community program. So, so uh, to continue with the, with the presentation, I would like to call uh, on Ms. Father Dan to present the, the side of the CPCP. Ano ba yung ginagawa ng CPCP in terms, in relation to the to healthcare and to the TV program. Si Father Dan can see na po. Conference, Episcopal Commission on Healthcare. Ito po ang Department of Health ng CBCP. So ito yung health component ng CBCP. Marahil, hindi ko po po doon na-represent. Na-present ko lang po ito sa mga diocesis at sa CBCP mismo. At siguro maganda tingnan natin ngayon kung nasaan ng level ang Department of Health ng kalusugan ng uh, sitahan. Now, ang vision po ng CBCP Commission on Healthcare is to witness the compassionate love of Christ by the promotion of fullness of life and pastoral care for handicap, ibig sabihin ni mga persons with disability, ang ating mga magigiting na mga matatanda. <laughs> Kung apektado kayo, sorry na lang. The elderly, ang mga may sakit, and of course, the dying. However, we don't forget yung tinatawag natin nas malaking component ng ating lipunan. Yung mga walang sakit. Kaya nang tinatawag natin may fullness of life tayo. Now, how, how will we commit ourselves in this? One, to grow in the experience of love of Christ. Second, to give formation on pastoral healthcare workers. Okay? Skills, knowledge, and attitude. At ang ginawa po natin for the past two days, 
with the community health volunteers of parishes here in the Diocese of San Pablo is to equip you with skills and knowledge. Okay? The third one is to promote the uh, Plenary Council of the Philippines 2009 on Pastoral Health Care Commission in the Diocese. Nakasaan po dito sa tulong ng simbahan na lahat ng diocese ay dapat, o ulitin ko, dapat may diocese at commission on healthcare. Pero po sa aking paglilibot sa Pilipinas, may mga ibang diocese na medyo matigas pa rin ang mundo. Pang-apat, to promote the work of formation of pastoral workers, to produce guidelines and to produce materials on pastoral health care programs, to promote and coordinate with hospitals, okay? yung mga Catholic grand hospitals, as well as to partner with our government-owned hospitals. I, I was trained in government-owned hospital. I was trained in PGH, in NIH. Okay? Until now, we are with San Lazaro Hospital and with Jose Reyes. But I'm working also with the Catholic grand hospitals. And of course, to advocate teachings of the church on health issues. To update current practices and trends in healthcare, like a community-based TB healthcare program. To collaborate with experts from various fields regarding healthcare issues. That's why later on, you will see na sa level pala ng national level, we are already partnering with the Department of Health, which is quite unusual before. May sabihin, ah, simbahan ka, DOH ka, hindi kami pwede mag-partner, magkalaban kayo pagdating ng February 14. Lalo na yun, nasa Valentine's Day. Now, there are some issues like that. But I'd like to raise this on the national level and even bring it down on the provincial level. That we are not enemies. We are collaborators. Yung po ang aming pinag-iinting. Hindi po tayo magkalaban. At kung magkalaban man sa tingin ninyo, love your enemy. I just go. Okay. <laughs> to document, monitor, and evaluate programs on pastoral health care issues. So ito po ang ating aming ginagawa sa Department of Health o Commission on Health sa Simbahan. Now, what is the task of the Episcopal Commission on Health Care? This is based on the Vatican Pontifical Council on Pastoral Health Care. Kung meron pong Department of Health dito, may WHO din po ang ang Catholic ng simbahan. May tinatawag kami, Pontifical Council on Healthcare. And on the international level, the Pontifical Council is part of the World Health Organization. Okay? We are sitting there in the World Health Organization. Okay, I'll skip this. Medyo, ano siya. Now, this is the roadmap of my report based on the 2015 report that we had last January with the Catholic Bishops Conference mga obispo po sa iba't ibang dioceses. Kung dito po ay meron kayong ilang po munisipyo? 30? 30 municipalities? How many cities do you have? 6 cities, 30 municipalities. 24 municipalities. Memorize me, Mayor. 24 municipalities, 6 cities. Tama po ba? Okay. Um, Commission on Healthcare covers 86 dioceses from Batanes hanggang Hulo, Sulu. Okay. I will present it in this way. Organization, prevention programs, treatment care and support, advocacy networking, and plans for 2050. Now, when you talk of organization, we are forming now, or we are still undergoing a consultative meetings of all the Yossi and Healthcare Commission from Northern Luzon down to the Mindanao area. At makikita ninyo, may mga meetings na ginagawa kami. Again, with the support of IMPAC and USAID and PPSP. What we are doing is, we are trying to map out what are the different programs in the different dioceses. Isa na lang po natitira namin meeting, okay? which will be on May, yung NCR and Central Luzon. Dito sa Southern Luzon area, okay, ang coordinator po ng buong Southern Luzon ay nanggaling sa Laguna, si Dr. Cynthia Sanchez. Okay. 
So ang cover dyan ay Region 4A, 4B, Bicol Region. Yun po ang cover ng Southern Luzon, ng simbahan. Now, what's the use of these consultative meetings? Would like to hear it from the national, kung kayo ay may, kung sa RHU, ay may PHOs, and then you have your MHOs, your RHU natin. Sa simbahan, meron din ganang sistema. We want to hear it from our regional offices. So, pati, para pati yung programa ay bababa from the national to the region to like this. Okay? Now, on the prevention area, we are also partnering with Catholic schools. Okay? We are part of the Catholic Educational Association of the Philippines. We are the ones, the commission is handing the healthcare program of all 1,348 Catholic schools in the Philippines. And we are now also transferring the tool to the different parochial schools, depending on the thrust and the priority of the diocese. Okay. So in terms of health in schools, what we are promulgating now is we are mainstreaming sexuality education. Kasi marami na yun, hindi lang sa mga kabataan, pero pati sa mga magulang nila. And we have been in these different regions. Kung train mo ang Catholic school, dapat i-train mo rin ang mga pari. So we are also training clergy, no? religious men and women in the different archdioceses and dioceses all over the Philippines on human sexuality. Dahil alam mo nga po natin na pagdating sa sexualidad, doon nagkakatalo ang, to, to be honest, doon tayo nagkakatalo ang gobyerno at ang simbahan. But I, I, I was really telling even to the national office that may mga, may mga punto talaga hindi tayo nagkakasundo. Pero mas maraming punto doon tayo nagkakasundo. But hindi tayo doon, we work together. And then doon sa mga punto hindi tayo nagkakasundo, then we respect each other's opinion. Okay? Let's listen, baka mas matuto tayo sa isa't isa. Okay? And that's, where, that's what we are doing in the national office. Now, uh, a, uh, an offshoot of this training would be to promote primary health care in the different parishes, the dioceses. Again, uh, ako po ay advocate itong primary health care, yung mga public health po natin, mga tiwag RHU. I'm really into this primary health care. Why? Because most of the time, we are more of the cure. We are more of the treatment. But we don't we forget a more cost-efficient program which will be on prevention. It's on health education, health awareness. So mas, mas mura siya kaysa dun sa gamot. Okay? So we are promulgating that. Another, we are with the Episcopal Commission on Youth. Ito naman yung Department of Youth ng, 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 uh, ng gobyerno. Meron din kami Episcopal Commission on Youth and we are partnering with them we are handing the health program ng lahat na kabataan in the 86 dioceses. Okay? So in terms of health programs of the youth, this would be a good program. Why? I have been with the youth, at feeling ko youth pa rin po ako. Youth pa rin sa puso. Napakalakas ang boses ng mga kabataan. Pag pinagsama mo yan, very strong. And this would be a good venture. Think about this. No? A good venture kung ang programa ng PHO ay to target the youth, why not target the youth of, of an organized youth commission of the diocese? Okay. Isang, isang, isang uh, announcement lang yan, lahat noong buong 86 the diocese, they come together. Okay. And I, I have seen that, and I hope you have seen that, during the Pope's visit. Okay. Thousands of youth coming from different all over the country, we're there in the in the University of Santa Tomas. Okay? It's an announcement lang po yun. And sometimes, they come in batches. That's why programs among you can easily be rolled out. Okay? Another, we are promulgating a, uh, a more strategic programmatics that which would include monitoring and evaluation of programs. That's why we are partnering with DOH okay? and with the uh, United Nations in terms of program management. And then, we give, kung ang impact po ay nagbibigyan ng TA, technical assistance, 
we also give technical assistance to different dioceses in the formation of the different healthcare commissions. Okay? So we, are, we have now reached out to the Diocese of Catalan in Northern Samar, San Carlos in, the, in Negros Occidental, um, Archdiocese of Manila, the Diocese of Isabela, Tugegarao, and even as far as Cagayan de Oro. This is what we, we are. No? The TV program of our parish-based TV program. Kung meron pong 42 provinces ang impact, ang Catholic Church, dinivide namin yun, ilang diocese per province, meron 53 di dioceses. Kasi sa isang probinsya, pwedeng dalawang diocese yan. Katulad ng Negros Occidental, there are three dioceses there already. But here in Laguna, you have only one diocese, the Diocese of San Pablo. Now, what we do is, we give TOT or Training of Trainers for TV Educators, which we have done here in Laguna for the past two days. Okay? Kaya po yung third day, we have met already your RHUs. Okay? And then after that, this TV Education would include proper referral to the DOTS facility. And then we would like to roll out this TV education to the community so that we can help you in case finding. Okay? We can help you in case finding because we know our community. We are there. Diba? There is a, uh, a cliche or a slogan which says, local solutions or local problems can be solved by local solutions. So it's very, very important to talk people who are already there in the area who knows the people, and sometimes, who knows a, a subculture of a certain community. Okay? So we would like to roll this out also in the BEC and the parish-based communities. Maybe just a note, we are not here as a church to, to replace you in the TV program. No, we cannot do that. We are here to help you in the TV program. Why? Kasi ang pinagsisiglahan naman natin ay ang parehong mga kababayan natin dito sa Laguna. I think we want to have a healthy Laguna. We want to have a TV-free Laguna. Right? And sino ba magtutulungan? Tayo-tayo rin naman. Okay? Uh, we have brought this out in Surigao, in Ilagan, in Baguio, in uh, Calbayo, Diocese of Calbayo in Masbate, no? ito ay nagawa na sa iba't ibang diocese. Bago ito binaba, I have introduced this also to the bishops during our meeting. No? And most of the bishops, they, they have a positive outlook on this because this can be an entry point for a more strengthened primary care in a community-based health care program. Uh, we are also promulgating here World Day of the Sick. Di ko alam kung kayo nagsiselebrate dito ng World Day of the Sea. Every February 11. That's very, very important. Sige. Titignan natin kung yung national celebration ay dito sa Laguna. This year, we did the World Day of the Sea sa Archdiocese of Davao. Last year, we did it in Cebu. Last, last year, uh, no, last year is with Cardinal Tante that is in Manila, and then last last year it is in, in Cebu. I don't know next year. Let's try to check if Laguna can be the host of the national celebration. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then, we are also involved in calamities. Yung nung hinagupit ng Habagat, ang Laguna, ang, uh, ang Cavite, ang Maynila, the Commission is involved in that primarily in relief and health services. From Luzon, we went down to Mindanao, okay, to Oakland, Baganga. Remember Pablo area? Yung hinagupit ng Pablo, ang, uh, ang Davao Oriental. So we were also there providing feeding program for the children and even uh, an improving um, rehabilitation of health centers and maternal and child care. And then we went up to Visayas during Yolanda area. Itong Yolanda, we are taking care until now. We have our programs in Samal and Leyte to take care of these people. And then, uh, sorry, this is po, Bohol pa na yung earthquake sa Bohol. 
last October 15. You know? And then we went down to um, Visayas area you know, to give psycho mental health support, psychosocial support, uh, medical care, partnering with other healthcare NGOs. Okay? And then what we do in terms of advocacy is we try to highlight dioceses with good healthcare programs. Binibigyan naman namin ng award at mayroong incentive. Ay, ganun. Katulad ng ang diocese ng Boac. Okay? The Diocese of Boac in Marinduque, they have a good program on maternal and child care. At hanggang ngayon, dire-diretso pa rin yung kayo ng programa. No? You also have here schools that promulgates health. The University of Santo Tomas, UST, and the University of San Jose Recoletos in Cebu. They have good programs on healthcare. And then, we also gave the Diocese of Calbayo, Maternal and Child Care, um, the Diocese of Antipolo on Elderly, the Diocese of uh, Baldo Benguet on Persons with Disability, they're taking care of that, the Diocese of Cagayan de Oro on Hospitals, because they have this diocese at hospital. I think, let's try to see this, baka tayo din. Uh, meron din tayo magagandang programa, we want to share it with other dioceses. Ang Diocese of Gumaca, Quezon, they have a good program on CBHP. Maybe you can check that out. Okay? And then, of course, a cherry on top of our ice cream, meaning what makes us special. Okay? Di ba pa ba yung ice cream? Lagyan mo ng cherry, we're special na. What makes us special is the faith part of our component. It is our prayers, our sacraments. We never did a health program without the sacraments. It is the health part, the faith part, because we are faith-based organizations. We move from our faith. We are compelled by the love of Christ. Doon tayo nag-uumpisa. So do not forget that, this advocacy. We are also involved in certain issues. Makikita nyo ang simbahan ko, may mga issue na, na nabibigay ng, ng statements. Like an issue on the privatization of hospitals. Okay, karamihan po, I don't know here in Laguna, so may mga hospitals na, na pinaprivatized. Lahat private. Ang gobyerno po ba? Meron po ba uh, public uh, government owned hospitals? Meron ano? Meron. Meron. Okay. Sana po, magdasal nyo mag siya ma-privatize. Kasi ang tanong natin, sa pupunta ang ating mga kababay na hihirap. At sana, kung, ma kung ano, ma-promulgate natin yung program ng PhilHealth, sana lahat may PhilHealth. Okay. Pero kung titignan natin, lahat ba tayo may PhilHealth? Mag-survey lang ako. Ilan dito ang walang PhilHealth? Raise your hand. Come on. Raise your hand. No problem. So see? Now, how can you reach the universal health care? Okay? Kung karamihan po ay walang health care. Mismo ang mga nagtatrabaho sa health system, sa health program, ay walang health care. Aaminin ko po may mga pare din walang health care. So let's try to propagate that. That's why when we had our meeting with Phil Health, let's try to, let's try to uh, uh, promulgate this. Let's try to encourage them to improve themselves. And then we are also involved in the uh, privatization issues of POC, an orthopedic hospital po. Orthopedic hospital is already privatized. Soon, they will privatize Vicente Soto in Cebu, the IDRMC in Ilocos area, and others. And then we have uh, issues on vaccination, some moral and ethical issues on vaccination which is still underway. I cannot talk about this because this is a very sensitive issue. Last September, we won a moratorium on the OH. Wala mo ng programa. Anong ginawa ninyo? Very Vaccination. Well, we are, we are looking at that. But don't worry. Tapos naman na yan. Okay, we are looking at that on how we can promulgate it. But what I'm saying here due to the vaccination, I, 
there are some ethical and moral issues. Here. And we are looking into that. We are partnering with WHO and with DOH on what are these ethical issues. Next, of course, we are against stigma and discrimination. Discrimination amongst people living with HIV. Okay. Bago po ako napunta sa TV program, and until now, I'm taking care of HIV patients all over the Philippines. And I think you all know that Region 4A is the number two region with the highest number of HIVs. Right? Based on the NEC report. Well, until now naman, marami po akong pasyente from Laguna. Doon sila sa amin nagpupunta sa Maynila. Sa may, sa may Dito Provincia, ganyan, joke lang. And then you have TB patients. I think why, why access to DOTS facility, there is what, defaulters, there are, or there would be relapse, retreatment cases, okay? one reason there are barrier is still stigma. Okay? 